Hello everyone. Today we are going to see the behavior of a given capacitor that is charging and discharging of a capacitor. In our case, we will make a series RC circuit having a fixed capacitance and a variable potentiometer that is variable resistance. As we vary, vary the resistance and we will see how the charging and discharging of the capacitor will happen. So we will give the step input or we will give the sinusoidal input and we will take the output across the capacitor and we will see the behavior. On the, on the base. As you know, the, uh, the resistance is inversely proportional to the time constant, is 1 by T. So the more we will increase the resistance, the time constant will simultaneously increase or decrease. We will design this circuit. This is the schematic diagram that we are going to design and we will see the uh, behavior of the capacitor. We have the step input that we will do this by this function generator. Then we have the variable resistor. You can see the potentiometer. This is the variable resistor, 47k. We can vary it from 0 to 47k. Then we have the capacitor. So let us design the circuit on the breadboard and see how the capacitor will behave. So now we will, we will design this circuit on this breadboard. First of all, we will bring the variable resistor. You can see the variable resistor, that is the potentiometer. This can be varied from 0 to up to 45k. So two terminals I will take, first one and the second one. So this will become variable. So to make it variable, I will take the first terminal and the second terminal. So I will connect the first terminal and the second terminal on the breadboard. You can see I will connect it on the breadboard. One terminal here second terminal at the other potential so the resistance this variable resistor has come on the breadboard you can see now i will connect the capacitor this is the capacitor i will connect the capacitor in the series you can see this terminal and this terminal are connected so i will connect it here so this terminal has come now another terminal i will connect somewhere here so rc circuit is here you can see RC circuit now we have to give the step input so I will give the step input from here as you can see this is the probe so I will take the positive and the negative you can see the positive connected to the resistor end so I will connect the positive to the resistor end and negative you can see negative of the input is connected to the capacitor and one terminal of the capacitor so I will connect the negative terminal with the capacitor so the circuit is complete that the supply is coming in this now what I will do I will connect the the probe one probe across the capacitor so that I can see the behavior of the capacitor on the DSO so what I will do I will connect the probe you can see across the capacitor so by this probe I can see the behavior on the capacitor also I what I want to see I want to see how the input will look like because I will bring input as well as output on the DSO so I will connect another probe to see how the input will look like now what I will do, I will give the input that from this function generator. So I will switch it on and you can see I have given the input. You can see how the input is looking like. So this is our input, a square wave input I am giving uh, to this RC circuit. So I am giving the square input across this RC circuit. So I can vary the frequency as well as amplitude on this according to my result. I have given the frequency of 0.5 hertz and I have given amplitude of 0.1 v, uh, peak to peak. So this much I have given the input as voltage across the capacitor is equal to U of T is 1 minus E raised to power minus T by tau. This time constant is uh, 1 by RC. So this will depend on the capacitor as well as the resistor. As our capacitance is fixed, we will vary the resistance and we will see this behavior to come on the DSO. So let us see how this uh, behavior comes on the DSO. So I will now connect the output. As you know, the ca uh, capacitor charge is gradually. The voltage across the capacitor charge is gradually. So we will see how the voltage will come across the capacitor. That is the blue one. You keep eyes on the DSO. You know the yellow one is the input and the blue one is the output. You see. The capacitor is charging gradually. You see. So you can see how the capacitor is getting charged. So you can get the time constant of this. Now what I will do, I will switch off this uh, input and I will see how the capacitor will discharge. This is very interesting. So what I will do, I will switch off this input and you keep eyes on here and you will see how the capacitor will discharge. Look, I will switch off the input. You keep eyes here you see how the capacitor will discharge it will discharge up to zero crossing and you can see how the capacitor is getting discharged you can see now the voltage is zero that is like uh, across the zero crossing you can see the voltage is getting zero so the capacitor uh, voltage across the capacitor is zero 
Now we'll repeat the process how the charging and discharging happens. You can see the blue one is the output and the yellow one is the input. Right now the capacitor is getting charged in the positive side. Now what I will do, I will switch off the input and I will see how the capacitor will get discharged. You keep your eyes here. Keep your eyes here. Look, this has got discharged in the negative cycle and then it has to get the straight line. So then the charge again, you can see the, now the straight line is coming. Again I will switch on the uh, input. Now it is getting charged again as the positive cycle and the negative cycle. It's very cool. Positive cycle and the negative cycle. This capacitor is getting charged. The uh, yellow one is the input and this green one is the output. Hmm. Now uh, I will switch off the input uh, and we will see how the capacitor will get discharged. It will gradually get discharged. You can see the capacitor is getting gradually discharged. So this is becoming zero. Thank you very much.